This is Ace and Friends. All right, here we go. Fast, fun, and funny. This is Ace and Friends, the Friday edition. I am the modern day Mr. Rogers, just trying to get back to some March madness. That's all mm-hmm. I that we may shorten this thing today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's trying to get out of work. Yeah, it's, I mean, oh, yeah. I got a movie to get to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, Rob. Rob's got a, a Ghostbusters movie he's got to get to today. You have reserved seats? Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. I know you always get reserved seats, Rob, but was it, was there any danger of it being sold out? Was it a heavily sold movie? No, not at noon on a Friday, so. Yeah, yeah it might be em- empty. See, so, yeah, kids are in school. Yeah, especially this weekend. This yeah. is a tough weekend to open um, because I would think a lot of the audience for a Ghostbusters movie that does include the, the you know two members of the original cast, three of them, three of them. I'm sorry, yeah. a lot of that would be, I would think people who are about my age. I was about to say it's, it's people older than me. Yeah, I, I was I in was high school when Ghostbusters came out. A lot of men my age are not going to the movies this weekend. No, you know, guys, guys in their 40s and 50s are like, no, they might, they might want to take their kids one day, but like this weekend, it's like, no, man, I'm marching. I got basketball all weekend. It's March Madness. Yeah, because there are a lot of people that watch this basketball tournament that don't have any clue what's going on. Yeah. By the way. Have y'all checked the messages on our Facebook page from the Ace and TJ show this morning? No. Well, uh, okay, granted, cut us a little slack here. Um, We didn't see the Kentucky. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Back again with our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. Now, uh, Richard, tell us about this cash out equity thing, instant cash, add water, and there it is. It is. It, it, that's how it is. Instant <laughs> equity. I mean, you, t- you do the application today. You could close today and get your money in five days. There's no underwriting. There's no appraisal. You know, I think somebody went, didn't you do something like that? Yeah, absolutely. It's exactly yeah. what it is. Instant equity. <laughs> it's very easy. And Richard yeah. walks you through the process. Find out more at homewithrichard.com. University of Oakland upset. Because it comes on, it was on it was one of the late games. So we were already in bed because everybody gets up at like 3.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, sorry. We didn't realize it was Oakland, Michigan. Not Oakland, California. <laughs> <laughs> We had so many messages. I saw a minute ago. People were like, it's Oakland, Michigan. One guy was like, shaking my head. Oh, sorry. oh whatever. Hey. Dude, who, who cares? You'll be who okay. Cares? Yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be fine. You'll be all right. But like, but Riggins, you don't follow college basketball. But will you no. watch this weekend? Of course. Kind of keep it on the whole week. Yeah, I mean, it's like watching the Super Bowl or the World Series. I mean, even if you don't know a lot, yeah, it's exciting to watch. It's just fun it's just exciting yeah i don't know anything about gymnastics but i'll watch it during the olympics absolutely that's a great comparison it's the exact same thing you're You're just watching because hey this is what's happening right now this is what everybody's watching and there's always something exciting going on yeah so let's wrap this up so i can get back to that okay (laughs) coming up on ace and friends ace and friends oh it happens to all of us that moment where you go maybe i'm getting a little older Gen Z is having a moment like that right now. Mm. And we'll prove it uh, next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenics. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenics. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenics, where all you have to lose is pain. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and friends. So it happens to all of us. There comes a moment in your life when something, one singular thing makes you stop and go, I'm getting older. 
Mm-hmm. Already happened to you, Riggins? You're 36? Oh, yeah. It happened okay. in college. Really? Yeah. Okay. Rob, have you already had that moment? Uh, it's, it's usually song based i'll find out how old a song is and then i'll go oh god yeah that's a really good way to have that happen well that's kind of what's happened to this uh this aging gin seer who's going viral i hate to be this guy just for the record i don't want to say this it's just something i feel needs to be said can we turn down the volume at concerts like a touch oh <laughs> call me a curmudgeon you know what i mean like call me a grumpy old man but i i swear to god the last couple years concerts have gotten too loud way too loud you can't even really make out what's going on with the music am i crazy for saying that do you know what i mean and, and trust me i want to have reckless abandon fun as much as the next mid 20 something year old trying to hold on to whatever shred of youth we have left in our ever aging bones as we creep towards our inevitable demise certainly i'd love to live a life just complete disregard for the health of my future self okay but also the last couple of concerts i've been to I, they've been so loud i was confronted with my own mortality and that's like <laughs> That's a little too loud, right? Like all of that. Just is it too much to ask for a skosh? A <laughs> I love it. Is it too much to ask for a skosh? I'm gonna disagree with him. I love a loud concert. Well, he's not saying don't make it loud. He's just saying can we turn it down a notch, just a little bit. Here's a point that he makes though. That maybe a point that gets lost in this. He doesn't really make this point, but it's not really about the volume. For a long time, I've had a problem with the sheer volume at a concert simply because sometimes you do have to turn it down just a touch to for clarity's sake mm-hmm. mm. like a lot of times you'll go to a concert and it's just and it's like okay it's loud and, and i want it to be loud i want to feel it but i always end up thinking um if they would just turn that down a little bit yeah, you could they could it. level out the instruments and we could he- we would hear the music so much and it would still be plenty loud mm-hmm. so but you're, that, say, you're saying the mix is just it's off. a mix thing because they they lose they lose the mix in the volume that makes sense and that's the thing that i learned being in the band you can't just turn everything up sometimes you have to turn it down a touch to level out the mix so it actually sounds better the presentation is better it's still plenty loud yeah but he's not wrong about that but it is funny that that's his moment of like i'm getting a little older can we just just a touch i love that word just a a skosh (laughs) get a skosh (laughs) Uh, are you actually in love with your coworker, or is it a new term called office goggles? We'll explain next. Ace and friends. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies. We've worked with Richard for years, and you know all the ins and outs, and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right. We have a lot of options. You know, This one lady, we just refinanced her house, paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re- she even paid her car off. She's saving $1,000 a month. So that really changes her life and her, you know, her financial well-being yeah and she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024 so i mean there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month they call it cash out is what we call it in the business cash Cash out out. (laughs) that's right cash out so it's one free five minute phone call right now 704-800-4719 704-800-4719 or go to homewithrichard.com do it today you'll be so glad you did the richard Takato companies Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Ace and Friends. Fast, fun, and funny. This is the Ace and Friends show. Uh, At Ace Cannon Media, if you want to follow along with the stuff that we produce and put out every day, at Ace Cannon Media. But, um... Do you think this is a, well, wait a minute, Reagan. I just realized you uh, fell in love with a coworker. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. guess I did. Yeah. Your, your girlfriend, you met her at, at work. Mm-hmm. So, and you actually, y'all ended up being together two and a half years, two yeah. years, two and a half years, something like that. Uh, there is a new term that's, it's a blogger posted about it on TikTok and it's gone viral called office goggles. Um, they say it's beer goggles just at work, you know, without the beer. You know what I mean? Uh, when you fall for someone at the office, even though you'd never look twice if you pass them on the street. 
it's been an urban dictionary since like 2006, so it's not a brand new term. Uh, but most people have, have never heard of it until this blogger wrote about it. The only theory is you see this person so much, it changes your perception of how hot they are. Like, because you see them a lot and probably have um, intimate being the wrong word, but a more personal relationship with them, it changes what how you think of them. And they become hotter to you than they would be if you were somewhere else. Hmm. That makes sense. I, I don't know if there's anything to that or not. Um, and it's not an experience I've ever really had because, like, well, I mean, I've worked with TJ for 30 years. Everything's really been centered around our show, so we haven't really had a lot of other... We've interacted with coworkers, sure, but so salespeople are in and out. Sometimes you go days without seeing people, yeah. that kind of thing. I'll say the, the office we worked in last, uh, there were a lot of attractive people there, so I don't think it was just... Uh, goggles for yeah us. i would agree there were a lot of attractive people that worked in that building yeah i think and, so and my ex-girlfriend i'm still attracted to i think she was super hot so one of the best tough. smiles I, i've ever seen in my life yeah she had a beautiful smile she would light up a room yeah for sure um they say it's uh the claim uh, repeatedly seeing the same person can raise their score an average of two points so yeah, if you that. were to see somebody out in a restaurant you'd think oh he or she is a seven, but because you see them over and over and get to know them more uh, on a deeper level, they become a nine. Yeah, in, sure. In the office, they're a nine. In a restaurant, they're the seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So and they say be mindful of that because a lot of people will ruin a good relationship for somebody at their office. Yeah. And then and then afterwards they realize, wait, I'm really not as into this person as I as I thought I was. Just saw him all the time. Right. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. We know what you need. You just need a little bit of good news to start the weekend. Next, more Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. There's a lot of news out there, but Ace and Friends just want to give you the good news. All right, so the good news today starts with two women who have been friends since kindergarten. And they're doing something rather unique to raise money. They are trying to set the world record for the longest journey by toy car. They each have their own car. They're driving 500 miles down the coast of Florida. They're driving from Jacksonville to Key West. Um, and you can support them by uh, purchasing some of their swag at their website, theearsocks.com. Um, they're on day three. They've already dealt with... Are we like yeah, the, it, it is. Car? That's exactly what it is. Wow. They were, they've been friends since they were five, and they both had them when they were young. That was what kind of, I guess, that had something to do with how they met, and they bonded over these power wheels they yeah. each had, and they would ride together. <laughs> so they came up with this idea to raise money for charity by putting together the world record for the longest journey by toy car, which is a great idea. Five hundred miles at that speed, yeah, excruciating. And your knees are all bunched up a bit. Excruciating. I cannot imagine doing that. I wonder if they're on the roads mm -hmm. with those. Yeah. Like I rode that bike almost 500 miles. Yeah. I was going probably five times faster than them. Yeah. At times, you know, because they're just, <gasps> those cars do not go fast. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a great idea. Uh, there's a mom in Texas who bought an evening gown at Goodwill for $15. Now, we would not be telling you this story, obviously, if it weren't for the fact that something cool happened after that. They found out the designer of the gown was Jackie Kennedy's personal designer. They're Whoa. still investigating how much it's worth, but they believe it is a custom one of a kind gown that may have some relation to uh, Jacqueline, Jackie Kennedy. Wow. Which would make it worth yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's so crazy. They said there's no way to tell exactly yet because they've got to do a lot of research into this particular gown, but it is a one of a kind. There was only one of them produced. That's amazing. So they don't know what it's worth, but it's worth something. 
And a guy was camping in Oklahoma, and he accidentally shot himself Monday. But luckily, two future nurses were hiking nearby and saved his life. Now, this sounds like it's going to be a bad adult film, but it's not like that at yeah. all. <laughs> I, read it, yeah. I read it this morning. I was like, oh, oh wait a minute. Where is this going? Oh, you're shot. He shoots himself, and they just happen to be, we were just hiking by. And oh. Was, I don't, what am I, how do I make a tourniquet? I'm going to have to tear this shirt up. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they are first-year students who are on spring break. Oh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I keep going. Yeah, uh, and they uh, they just happened to be nearby. They came down, took care of him, and they say uh, doctors have said they saved his life. It looks like he will make a full recovery. That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I had to pull this shirt up. First year up. students on spring break. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> who, who right. Me? Tell me, it doesn't sound exactly yeah. like some bad adult movie. That is bad. We were just hiking by. And we're... Well, I shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ace and friends. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help, because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now, and consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Ace and Friends. All right, it's Friday, so I want to do a fun round of Normal or Nope. I like this game because it always sparks interesting conversation, but there is a normal or nope that's included this time that is really weird. Like one of the weirdest things we've ever we've ever had before. Uh, so let's, let's start with this, normal or nope? My coworker asked if it's normal to chew off all the salt on a little pretzel stick before you actually eat the pretzel. No. No. No, it, uh, it's a nope. It's, yeah. it, it's, you, I've seen people like lick on the, yeah. take it and lick on it real quick or something, but I've never seen anybody try to chew the little salt pieces How off. How do you do that? I don't understand. I don't know. It's really hard, I would think. Uh, normal or nope, listening to Netflix through your car speakers like it's a podcast. Uh, no. Uh, I, maybe if it's like a stand-up thing, but I don't think, no, no not normally. Yeah, some it's, the, the person says it's like a show that they're watching and they're, They've got to leave, and they're not finished with it yet. They'll just in their car. They'll just turn their hit their Netflix on and listen to the rest of it. It's probably not as different as like watching something and doing something on your phone at the same time. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, normal or nope? Needing to get every scrap of toilet paper off the roll. So he said, my husband will leave the last few squares that are glued to the roll on, but I have to get them off the best I can. I think that's normal because I want all the toilet paper off that roll. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's normal. Okay. Uh, normal or nope? Here's the weird one. Um, my boyfriend says if he does a number two in a public bathroom and it leaves marks in the bowl, he will clean with a toilet brush so there are no marks in the bowl for the next person. I mean, you would. Th- However, if there's no brush available, he will wrap his hand in toilet paper mm. and wipe away the marks real quickly, then flush it. Oh. No. Nope. <laughs> How graphic. <laughs> what is that? How no. gross. <laughs> I can't because say no. Nope as enough. I was reading it, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, where have I? I've never seen a toilet brush in a public restroom. Yeah, that's also another thing. And then it's like, okay, oh, okay, so if there's not one, he already has a plan together. Bunches up a bunch of toilet paper and cleans it himself. So I guess when the water settles, there's just, a, he probably never touches the water. He just gives it a scrub. And then, Ugh. Ah, no. <laughs> Ugh. Even if there's a brush in there, I'm not using a brush that's been sitting in a public bathroom. It's bad enough you have to use the public bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm with you, Rob. I don't. I don't think I'm doing it either. But that's what I just was thinking the whole time as I was reading it. Like, wait a minute, I've never seen a toilet brush in a public restroom. Uh-uh. Well, how, what would he do then? Oh, there's the answer. That's what he does. Ugh. That is so great. Yeah, and I why are you that. telling your girlfriend about it? Right. Here's what I do <laughs> when I. <laughs> why would you want to tell anybody that? <laughs> More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. <laughs> Those Christmas bills are coming due, and that's why our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies is here to help you with an equity line of credit. 
That's right. That way you don't have to refinance your first mortgage and get all the equity that you want out of your house. And that right, Ace? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> That's what I just did. I had such a good rate, I didn't want to refinance, but Richard helped me take money out of the equity to kind of get myself through the holidays and get set up for the first of the year. You can do it too. It's very easy. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. That's homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you, a proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. Ace and Friends. So one of the things that I love about the March Madness basketball tournament is like it every year you relive these great moments. Moments that, for somebody like me, were huge parts of my childhood. Give me an example. I was in the ninth grade when NC State won the national championship. And my friend, who's still my friend to this day, I just went to an NC State basketball game with him last year. His name is David Stout. He lives in Durham, North Carolina. And uh, he is an NC State grad. His family, his sister went to NC State. His parents went to NC State. Their parents went to NC State. He's a season ticket holder to all the things that, but he was the first person I knew. He lived in my neighborhood in Pineville, Louisiana. And if you know anything about that game, they were massive underdogs. The only reason they got into the NCAA tournament was because they won the ACC tournament, which they were never expected to do. And they went on what is considered to be the greatest run in the history of NCAA men's basketball for the tournament. And they won on a missed shot on the last second of the game, uh, Lorenzo Charles put the ball in and dunked it. And I remember, I, like, I clearly remember that moment because, A, that's my friend's school where I knew he was going to go to school there. And I remember, like, I was watching it by myself in the den at my house. And when they scored, I jumped up and yelled. And my mom got up and came and told me, it's almost 10 o'clock. Be quiet. <laughs> she, yeah. was, she was very upset. Shut up. Shut up. Are there memories, and there are so many things like that. That's just one of the big ones that I love when they show that memory every year. There's some really cool LSU memories that I have from that as well, from when I was in school and all that. But are there things that still evoke those types of memories for you? Yeah. I mean, different things. I remember when I was young, whenever Tiger was like, maybe it was like 98. I know I was too old to be sitting on my dad's lap. I think I was probably 10 or 11. He okay. might have been playing in the British Open. My dad grabbed me around the waist as I walked by. He was like, come here, sit here, watch this guy. And I was sitting on his knee at like 11, like too big to be yeah. sitting on his knee. But he was so excited and wanted me to watch it too. That's so. a great memory mm -hmm. though. So at any time when you have kids one day, they talk about, hey, what, did you see Tiger Woods? And you can relay that yeah do you have anything like that rob the only thing i can think of re it was kind of recent but when the panthers went to the super bowl i was at the game where they won the nfc yeah, championship yeah that's a good one and anytime at the start of the start of a season i'm like this isn't going to be as good anymore but it makes me <laughs> <laughs> makes you sad which is the reason again that rob won't go to a panthers game yeah. now no. because no game will ever be as exciting as that one that he went to that <laughs> it is the I'm, single most ex uh ex exciting football game i've ever watched <laughs> I don't get the logic, I, you know. Yeah, no, I, 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 it'll I'm never good. be this good, so I'll just never go back again. Yeah. It's, a, it's an odd thing. Yeah. But Rob stands by that. Yeah. Um, we've all had this moment where we've all thought, oh, my God, am I on camera right now? Or, oh, my God, I'm glad I'm not on camera right now. Yeah. Well, the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day is next. And this lady lived it. Ace and Friends. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenic. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenic. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenic, where all you have to lose is pain. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. This is Ace and Friends. There are universal fears that we all have. Rob, have you ever had a fear of accidentally broadcasting yourself on the internet? 
Yeah, of course. Especially now with so many Zoom meetings and you hear all these stories. Well, like, like I open my phone sometimes and it's on like Instagram's camera. I'm like, what? Whoa, what? Excuse me? Oh, that will, that, I don't know how that happens, but I've had it happen with Snapchat or some, or like I've opened my phone and the camera part is on. It's like, oh, what is, why is that on? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lady in London and um, she is living this nightmare right now. There was a funeral. Not everybody can make it. So the church set up a Zoom where people could watch it online. Very common. They did that with my daughter's funeral. One woman accidentally broadcast herself showering. She couldn't make it to the service, but she was going to the wake later on. Now that's odd because we have normally there's uh, the wake is the day before Mm -hmm. or the, or the morning of, and the service is later. So she was going, but so she set up a zoom where people, I'm sorry. So she logged into the zoom so she could watch the funeral service while she was showering, getting ready computer sitting right next to the shower. So you can watch while she's showering. And she did not realize her camera was on. That's not good. An initial report said there was a screen set up at the funeral so people in the church saw it. Oh. Now, it's not clear if that is true, but they say people that were watching online definitely saw her because she did not realize it for a while. One person on the Zoom said she didn't just shower, she also shaved. Oh, God. Guess when she found out that's what happened? Uh, when she showed up for the wake oh after the God. funeral. <laughs> it is like the nightmare of all nightmares. That's like, those, that's like those dreams you have that like you go to school without clothes on or something. You're like, oh, God. Yeah, and I think the worst part about that is it's one thing if you realize it happened, and then you can decide, I, I can't go to the wake now. But you don't find out until you're standing there confronted by people face to face. Nobody could like send her a message on Zoom or something. That's what I thought. Someone could do have done something to let her know. But then again, she's in the shower. So she's probably just listening, not really paying attention to what's on the screen that much. But now you have something headed into the weekend to start a conversation. That is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Um, if you are not of Gen Z, you better start thinking about what's happening to all your stuff once you die, if you care at all, because Gen Z is not playing around. Next. Ace and Friends. Maybe you have heard that this is not the time to be buying a house. Well, you have heard wrong, and you haven't heard from our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here today. Is this a time to buy a house, Richard? Well, the thing I tell everybody, it's time to buy a house when you need one. And there's always so much <laughs> hype about this or that. You know, if you need a house, you should contact us. You know, it's it's nonsense, TJ, not to buy a house for me. And this is why. We have the mortgage company. We have the realtors. We have the closing agencies. And we discount everything. That's the thing that you don't hear in the purchase market. You get a great deal. Not only are you going to buy a house, we're going to give you unbelievable on the mortgage, help you out with the closing. It's something that really needs to be talked about in the market because nobody does it. It's one place where you can do everything and save yourself some money in the process. Yeah, that's the thing. Car dealers talk about buy a car for me, save a bunch of money. Well, buy a house for me and save a ton of money. It's it's, that simple. It's super easy to do. Just call 704-800-4719 or homewithrichard.com. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple team. Ace and Friends. The stuff that we hoard today is a little different than what our grandparents refused to throw out. Like, well, I don't know, you know, my, I've thrown out all of my baseball trophies from when I was a kid, but my mom would never do it. She refused to throw them out when I moved out of the house. So I've saved my kids that hassle. But honestly, um, I don't know what my kids are gonna do with uh, uh, platinum albums that hang on the wall. And I really don't know, they don't care. I don't know what, I don't know what they'll do with them. But somebody asked people to name things millennials save that their kids will immediately toss as soon as they die. So Rob, if you, if you were to have a kid at this point, mm. Which one of these things would you even still have? Um, by the way, video games was toward the top of the list. Um, the box your cell phone came in. 
I still have that, yes. Because in, you know, if you want to sell the phone and get a new one or something. Yeah, um, all my Apple products, I still have the boxes for them. Yeah, same. I don't know why I still have the box, but I do. And they say that's the first thing to go. All those boxes, they throw those out right away. Um, the box of random cords and dongles you've saved your whole life. <laughs> I have a huge box of those. Yes. I, yeah, I have one that sits in the garage. And they said, look, if you would stop and go through that box, at least half of those you have no use for now. Or they don't work. Like I have like dozens of HDMI cables in that box. They don't work? I don't know that to be true completely, but I just But you're pretty that, sure. Yeah. Um, okay, all those rubber bracelets promoting different charities and causes. I don't have this one. No, I have. Neither. I have. Um, I don't even know if I have the grandkids one anymore. And then a member of the radio family made these rubber bracelets. My son wears his every day for Peyton uh, when she died, and that it's those are amazing. Um, so that is not one that would relate to me. That Dave Matthews Band T-shirt you stood in line for at a concert in two thousand one. <laughs> <laughs> they say Goodwill stores are going to be overloaded with those types of things which would include your movie and cartoon t-shirts rob probably yeah because uh, they're not going to want them yeah all the dvds you're still saving uh, i've already sold all my dvds okay I, th I just donated all mine to goodwill and stuff um it says for women all the makeup that you're still hoarding because mm, it's probably out of style yeah your collection of thermoses and water bottles because uh millennials have a lot of water bottles uh, the random workout gear you never used, things like the ab roller, the shake weight, all that kind of stuff, and the jeans that you swore you'd fit into again someday. <laughs> so that will probably never happen. But all those things, uh, considered millennial junk, the top things your kids will toss when you die. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. There is a man who has reappeared. He is a huge part of people's lives, was a huge part of their childhood. And when he reappears, people go nuts. But I think there may be a little bit more to it, and it may not be a bad thing. Next. Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Ace and Friends. Fast, fun, and funny. Usually funny, I think. This is the Ace and Friends show. You can follow along at, at Ace Cannon Media. At Ace Cannon Media. So you can follow the stuff that's happening with the Ace and Friends show. Uh, live on our app, on the Ace and TJ app, every weekday at 3 Eastern in the afternoon. And then after that, available everywhere you download podcasts. There's a man who, Rob, how long ago was it that he actually, he reappeared on Twitter and the world went crazy? I think it was like a year ago, maybe? About a year, just out of nowhere, the original Steve from Blue's Clues showed up on Twitter and just simply asked, how's everybody doing? I think it was, I was it a year ago? I think it was maybe around the summer, yeah, eight, nine months ago. He just simply, yeah. how's everybody been? How you doing? And something like 124 million people responded. The outpouring was crazy. Now, my daughter would be 24 now. She would turn 25 this summer. And that's how I was introduced to Blue's Clues because I was already an adult. But Blue's Clues was a huge, huge part of her life. She had the Blue's Clues doll. The whole thing, she was way into Steve and Blue's Clues. Loved it. And I get the nostalgia. So Steve then pops back up yesterday on TikTok. And it's an interesting thing that he did. I'll just play the first part, and then we'll have to skip to the end. Here. Hey, I'm checking in. Tell me what's going on. All right, so that's about five seconds of this clip. And then you skip to the end because he doesn't right. say anything. Well, it's good to hear from you. You look great. The whole clip is 59 seconds long. Five seconds of him going, hey, I'm checking in. How you doing? What's going on? And then at the end, 
the last five seconds, he just says, um, you know, good talking to you. You look, you look great. And I'm assuming now what he's going for, would you agree that he's going for people trying to stitch it? Probably. So they can share. Um, yeah, because it was, it was on TikTok, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. So he's looking for people to stitch and talk about it and, uh, and, and maybe have some fun with it, maybe share a little bit about themselves. Mm. Some people would say that this is odd. Some people would say that it's weird. Some people would say that it's clearly some type of Nickelodeon marketing thing, maybe in light of all of the bad press that Nickelodeon has been getting lately about what's happened there in the past. But there may be a little more to it that may not be so bad. I'll explain next. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Wrong one, Rob. Can I do there? Here. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. This is Ace and Friends. And this is Steve from Blues Clues. Hey, I'm checking in. Tell me, what's going on? And he just sits and listens. He looks at the screen for about 50 seconds before he says, good talking to you. And you look great. Now, a lot of people will say, if you respond to this with some type of, oh, here's what's happening, that kind of thing, that it makes you weak. And that it's a generation of people who are looking to just have a way to share their troubles in life. And, oh, woe is me and all that kind of stuff. And I get that. And I, there is something to that. I think a lot of that is very true. But on the other hand, is it so bad whatever the reason that you're struggling, is it so bad that something comes along that just provides you a moment of comfort? Do I think it might be a little silly? Sure. Is it something I would do? No, I'm not going to stitch and go, Hey, I'm having a bad time. I'm, you know, life sucks and I'm sick or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to do that. But if you just have a moment, to just sit and maybe maybe you do talk to Steve or maybe just seeing him in this moment asking you how you're doing provides a little comfort. Nothing wrong with that. I don't think. If it helps you get over the hump, if it helps you get from one day to the next, if it helps you feel a little bit better about your situation, if somehow it helps you feel like somebody cares about you, nothing wrong with that at all. You do what you got to do to keep moving yourself forward on a daily basis. And as long as you're moving yourself forward, you take the comfort where you can get it. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Personally, I love Steve. My daughter loved Steve. And I hope that somebody can get a little bit of comfort out of that. Especially headed into the weekend. I think... That's an okay thing. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Uh, we're going to the Roadhouse with Tech D. Rob. Or we might end up talking about great sports memories. We'll see which way this goes. But either way, it's going to be very entertaining. Next. Ace and Friends. What a joy it is to be back with our old friend Richard Toccato of the Richard Toccato Companies. Is that the way you wanted me to say it? I think so. <laughs> that that way we really know you. each other. Great. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Hey, Richard, will you sell my house? I'll guarantee you an offer, and then I'll flip it for forty or fifty thousand dollars profit. <laughs> <laughs> or I could list it for you. I just did. A lady called said she wanted to sell her house. She'd been offered two hundred sixty thousand dollars for it. I sold it for three hundred and nine thousand dollars. Do the math on that one, Ace. I mean, that's money she makes. That's money that profits her. That's her benefit by using you to sell her house. Yeah, instead of me buying it guaranteed. Yeah. I listed it. 
and she made forty nine thousand dollars by working with a real estate agent. It's very easy. Here's what you do. It all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. There's such flexibility there. You'll be astonished at all the things you can do. Again, homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. It makes no sense to work with anybody but me. Ace and friends. Take D. Rob, did you say this morning you make reservations at Roadhouse, at Texas Roadhouse? I, that's why I was, was kind of asking if what I did is considered a reservation. So in the app, you can see how long the wait is, and you can put your name on the list for it before okay. you get there. Uh, and I won't even go, I'm not even going to look to go to a Texas Roadhouse if I don't do that beforehand because they're always busy. So, Okay, I think that makes sense. No, I don't think that counts as a reservation. Okay. Um, because essentially what you're doing is just – they're not holding a table for you. You just get there and may still have to just wait till your turn comes up. Yeah. Um, so you may start if you like, if it says, well, how close are you to a Texas roadhouse? If you uh, wanted to leave your house, how long would it take? 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. And if you, so you open the app and sign in on the app before you leave the house, say if it's got a 30 minute wait, you'll go ahead and jump on and, and set it to, to sign in to get on the wait list. Right. Cause uh, what they'll do is if we, if you get there without that, they'll just put you, they'll make you do the same process. So on the so you have to get on the app in the restaurant. Not, they might do it for you at the reg at the the check in stand, but it's doing the same thing. So okay. So but that way though, by the time you get there, you've already drastically reduced your wait time. So you may not have to wait but five minutes or so, and normally you would have to wait twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Texas Red House has a really yeah, helps I, out. I think that's genius on your part. I don't think it's not a reservation, but it's a smart way to go about doing it because you're cutting down your time waiting. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's super smart if you can do that. The less amount of time it, I, it takes till I get some rolls, I'm, it's the better. I hear you. I hear you. Damn, those rolls are good. Did you mentioned a minute ago your greatest sports memory is that Panthers game mm -hmm. that you went to when the Panthers won the NFC Championship to go to the Super Bowl? But by a long shot, like yeah, a, yeah. What is number two? Because you're not a huge sports guy. Yeah, uh, my number two was I, I don't I don't know if it was the same season or not, but. Uh, the, the year Julius Peppers came back to the Panthers. Right, right. I was at the opening game, and they introduced him like uh, like a team captain, but he wasn't anymore. And the whole place erupted. And, I mean, Julius Peppers was my favorite Panthers player. Uh, and I, I got a little teary-eyed when they introduced him that way. Oh, I can see that easily. That was a really – I remember that moment – That I remember that game. I don't remember that specific moment, but I can see that because there was a lot of emotion in the air when he came it, back to the Panthers. It was, it was awesome. And now he's in the Hall of Fame. You can see you've seen a Hall of Famer play. Yeah. Those are two pretty good moments. Yeah, they're very good. I, yeah. I cherish them, to be honest. And yet there will be no more that will ever top that because you will never go back to a Panthers game because those are so good, such good moments. If it did happen, uh, it would be like they won something and I'm watching from home and it was really good and everybody, and like somebody was, somebody was with me there that I enjoyed it with, that kind of thing. It wouldn't be live. Right. It won't happen to you live ever again. Right. Uh, what if somebody said, what if the Panthers went to the Super Bowl and somebody said, Rob, we're going to the game. Do you want to go to the game? You can go with me. Yeah, I'd go to the Super Bowl. Okay. But I, I, will, I, don't, I don't know that I would go to another NFC championship. On the chance they might not win. Right. Cause it, or even if they did win, it wouldn't be as exciting as the first one. Because they, they, they <laughs> dog walked the, right, the they Arizona did. Cardinals. <laughs> so you wouldn't even go back to see them win the NFC championship again because it might not be as exciting as the first time you went. Yeah, that place was it was it was rocking. <laughs> that is one of the most weird <laughs> theories I've ever heard in my life. Well, we know I'm a weird man. So. <laughs> no, very true. I, I, but I, re, I, I, re, I respect your commitment to it. That's awesome. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers, they are blooming. And as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry? Does one ask a fish if it swims or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. This is Ace and Friends. It seems like a long time, but it hasn't been that long ago in the grand scheme of things. 20 years ago, Ozzy Osbourne was voted as the man people around the world would most want to represent us if aliens were to come. <laughs> Remember that, Rob? No, I don't. It was don't. like tw 2002, 2004 at the height of the Osbournes when they, that show had just exploded and everybody fell in love 
with Ozzy Osbourne. I love him, but I don't want him to represent us if aliens come. That's, I agree. It doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> there was something about him, though, that may, he was he became so uh, human while watching the Osbournes. And that has really continued. He's been through a lot of stuff, a lot of things, but he there's a TikTok that's out. Now, if you have kids around or something, turn it down because this is, there's a little bit of rough a rough part of this. But this is why we love Ozzy Osbourne. This is Ozzy with his daughter, Kelly, who's asking the questions, and his wife, Sharon. Do you know what riz means? Riz. 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 Yeah. Aren't they smoking papers? Well, that's what I would have thought. Yeah, but... That's wrong. I just want to say I consider Dad to be riz. Okay. Oh. But used to describe someone's ability to be charming and ability to woo a person. Jeez. No! Riz, <laughs> Dad! Riz! <laughs> I've listened to that three times and it makes me laugh every time. Jeez. No. Oh, God. That's what we love about him. <laughs> and some people say it's an act. I really don't think it is. I, 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 you're talking about a guy that did so much dope. He did so many drugs. He's in his 70s now, right? Yes. And he once said that he stopped doing acid because he did something like he did acid every day for a year just to see what it would do. Good God. Yeah. And he and he ended up kind of really messed up. And, and obviously he's had tons of problems with drugs and alcohol through the years. And I do think it has affected him in a, in a negative way. But I think that's genuinely who he is now. And, and I there there's still something... Um, charming about him. Yeah, he's easy to like. Yeah, you don't ever get the feeling, and I think that's one of the things the show did, you don't ever get the feeling that um, he's trying to be something he's not mm -hmm. because he was okay just being himself, you know, and letting people see that this, you know, guy that was a, a heavy metal maniac was really a sweet guy that loved his kid. You know, the Prince of Darkness, of all these evil things that he was supposed to be. He was just a cool guy that hung out and loved his kids and liked to watch history documentaries. And I don't know if we could have that anymore today. I don't know if you could do that again um, because of social media, that time may have passed when you could see a different side of someone in that way to that extent and it have it'd be as successful as that was. But I just thought it was too funny um, not to share. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. It's more than just a great room that makes the Hyatt-centric South Park Charlotte such a special hotel. It's the great restaurants, the great bar, the great meeting rooms, and a superior location. Make reservations and get details at acetj.com slash Hyatt. Ace and Friends. So Riggins had to leave early today um, because he's got somebody coming to check his HVAC unit. At his house, and they gave him the window, like you know, nine thirty to eleven thirty kind of thing. That's important. He needs One to, to three. That. Yeah, it is important. <laughs> but uh, I get amused by, and I don't know if you feel the same way, Rob. I get amused by how uh, uh, I don't know if it, obsessive is the word. Almost like he's nervous. Like if I'm not there by nine thirty, what if they're there at nine thirty? I'm not there at nine thirty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's like I, it becomes such a thing, and it is a big deal. I'm not saying it's not a big deal, but I don't know the way. Sometimes the way he reacts, I've got, I've got, to, I've got to go. I'm, okay, okay, no problem. You I know, believe that, the word we've used before is neurotic. Neurotic is the only way I can describe it. Mm. Um, it is very uh, Larry Davidish at times. And we're not saying anything behind his back that no. we wouldn't say if he was here. Um, it, it's, I, I think it's funny to yeah. see. Yeah, it makes me laugh most of the time. Yeah, I find it uh, agreed. I find it pretty amusing as well. Um, I try not to laugh, laugh in front of him because I'm sure he, he wouldn't appreciate that, but. It does make me laugh. Yeah, but I think he's okay with it. He realizes that that's just kind of the way he is. And that's the way he's always been. Even when he was in, in college, you know, we, when we used to have money, uh, we would order breakfast all the time. And TJ and I would buy everybody breakfast. Riggins never once 
ordered breakfast as an intern. We'd buy the interns breakfast and all that. And um, he never ordered breakfast because he didn't. I don't want anybody thinking I'd give me anything. I don't want to owe anybody anything. <laughs> like, you don't owe us anything, man. We just bought breakfast for like ten people. It's no big deal. Um, we would be. We wish you would let us buy you breakfast. I don't. That's okay. Thanks. If you want a coffee or anything, that's okay. I brought Diet Coke. Yes, yeah, but I say every once in a while he would he would take you up on a Diet Coke. Yeah, that's the extent of it. The Diet Coke. And even you know we would go on these road trips, and one day it was just me, TJ, and Riggins, and we went to eat, and he just you know was like it's, it's okay I, I'll get mine. No, you're not getting yours. <laughs> you're you're here because you're working. We will take care of it. Okay, okay. And and, and then when he ordered, I don't know. It was just weird because he ended up just taking his and going back to the hotel. That was the day we learned that he hates restaurants. <laughs> so he just got his to go and put it in a box and he was kind of frazzled and he's like i just i, just, I hate restaurants i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take it and go back to my room at the hotel <laughs> okay i'm not sure how to handle that but it's just a very odd experience um and it's an odd is not the right word it's different just because it's not something i would do um that doesn't mean it's odd saying different instead of odd i mean they basically mean the same thing <laughs> what I'm just, I mean, they basically mean the same thing. So you could just call them odd. I know it doesn't sound as nice, but it's it's odd. Rob, it doesn't mean the same thing. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's very much the same thing. Okay. Ace and Friends. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato companies. We worked with Richard for years and you know all the ins and outs and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right, we have a lot of options. You know, this one lady, we just refinanced her house, paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re she even paid her car off. She's saving $1,000 a month. So that really changes her life and her, you know, her financial well-being. Yeah. And she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024. So, I mean, there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month. They call it cash out is what we call it in the business. Cash, cash out. out. <laughs> That's right. Cash out. So it's one free five minute phone call right now. 704-800-4719. 704-800-4719 or go to homewithrichard.com. Do it today. You'll be so glad you did. The Richard Takato Companies. This is Ace and Friends. Uh, fast, fun, and funny. This is the new Ace and Friends show. We've reached the conclusion on a Friday. We got some March Madness to get to. Tech D. Rob's got a movie to get to. Ghostbusters. Yeah. What frozen, is it? Ghostbusters, frozen the frozen what? Empire. The frozen empire. Um, and it's got Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Dan Aykroyd, and er, um, um, Ernie Ernie Hudson. Ernie yeah. Hudson in it. Yeah. So because Harold Ramis has passed away, he so has he's passed. not in it. Who are the other Ghostbusters? Is it Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd's in it, and most of them are other, are children. Uh, well, not children, but like teenagers. Um, the, the rest of the, the Ghostbusters are teenagers. Yeah, because uh, it's like they're passing the torch essentially. To okay. Them. Uh, but Paul Rudd and the children's mother are like the adults that are with that the new group. Are they expecting this to be a big movie? Is, did, did, well, first off, two questions. One, did Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and all, did they all return for the last one? They were in it a little bit. Okay. They're, they're, they're like near the end, they start, they start showing up. This okay. one, they're going to be in the whole movie. The as whole far movie. As, as far as I know. Are they expecting that to, to launch this back to prominence? I think so. And then the last movie was pretty well received. So I think they, uh, they, 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 they figured that it would be a good idea to make a sequel but i've not seen good reviews for this one so really? we'll see no. I, it would be nice to see dan Aykroyd and bill murray and and ernie hudson do something and it would be cool again yeah uh, by the way i just saw this this morning um they're worth a lot of money like <laughs> way more than i thought the three of them uh yeah dan Aykroyd is worth over 250 million dollars they said bill murray is worth over 180 million dollars I would have guessed that Ernie Hudson was a little less, if we, um, <laughs> or it, significantly less. He's he's way less. I think they said five or seven million dollars, something like that. Because I assume that the other two have stake in the movies that they've done. Yeah, they're and, and they're involved in the writing and the production and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's but I didn't I did not realize. I guess I never thought about it much. Like you know, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd are rich, but I just didn't figure two hundred and fifty and eight hundred million rich. Damn, 
That's crazy. That's a lot of money. Or, oh, I'm sorry, 180 million rich. Rob, favorite thing from today's Ace and Friends show? I'm honest with you. I do not remember. <laughs> well, I'll tell you my favorite thing. Anytime we get into a discussion of your unwillingness to go to another professional football game because you went to that <laughs> NFC championship and nothing will ever compare to that, I am fascinated and flabbergasted, and that will always be my favorite thing of the day. Y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. Ace and Friends.